Welcome to Matic Tuning. We are up in Toowoomba, so it's like a high range area. Temperatures dropped significantly. It's actually very cold. This one wearing my jacket. Sam is on his way from the north side of Brisbane. We have just got here to Matic Tuning and are dropping off the 180 right now. Sorry, the 200 SX. Um, and Jesse is going to be tuning it today for us. You are one step closer. Yeah, we are. We are. This is all you guys, man. You guys actually made this happen. This is, it's freaking crazy. You might almost get to hear this thing sing. We're close. Definitely leave some lines there. <laughs> He's we've not going to leave some lines there. Some Mexico yeah, Sammet yeah, is yeah, going to yeah, leave yeah, some yeah, lines yeah. there. <laughs> it was our yeah, Bogan yeah. test driver. He's just not here currently. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> you gotta be a real Australian. <laughs> yeah. Overflow. Yeah, no, I'm not joking. Give me, give me, a, give me a, give me a hose. I'll hook it up right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no.
Well, we just snapped an alternator belt, so we're gonna get another belt. Thankfully, Goldbeast is right next door. Oh wow, they have a garage open. Very cool. I think Liam is off for the day. He has a JZ S14. I had to go for a sugar lolly and uh, energy drink run after 48 hours of starting to fade. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's been a hectic, hectic week. It's just non-stop. So I've run the car a couple of times on the dyno with 98 in it. However, Jesse reckons that we should just switch it straight to E85 because the motor is uh, high compression um, and it is starting to ping. So we can keep it safe. We've decided to switch over to E85 
and uh, we've just drained the tank and refilled it uh, and obviously just drained all the fuel lines and stuff so it's getting back into it in a minute. The E85 set. Yep. Corn juice. <laughs> Candy corn juice. I'm excited. Yeah. Right here and the challenger couldn't take the whole lot so we've got a little bit maybe of We may or may not have put E85 one. in the challenger. <laughs> Yeah, just go put it in someone's car out in the car. I'm sure any one of these guys from Golby's would love a little bit of 98 for brew. Call it mystery ethanol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> so, on its first run, then, we just gained an extra 100 horsepower going from 98 to E85. So, we went from 280 to 360, I think it said. I had 422 newton meters of torque as well.
just got stuck. Now I bet you they're all wishing they went home. <laughs> well, we get up to the final test, but it did not pass the final test. Is it okay if I touch the throttle or? Something has yeah, happened with the cool. throttle and it is it's trying really to rev to the moon. Yeah. We've just done a smoke test on the plenum and we couldn't see any leaks, so we're checking the bottom line. Yeah. I think it's soaked to pieces. Okay. No, it's like bent over. Ooh. Maximum we might have to set an accelerator stopper. And amongst all the other things, never check that, so it might be over pulling that and might have pulled it well past it. So, it well butterflies there, I just broke that gasket. But. Yeah, let me see again. Yeah. Yeah. Did it make one pound of boost? Not even one. Yeah. Now, it's it's in the interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Front. Yeah. No, I cannot, there's not one piece of light coming through that. What the hell? Weird. Interesting. Mm. Is that girl there? No. Really? The wheels there, we watch that try and close. Doesn't close fully. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the throttle's broken. It's down a quarter over. Yeah, okay, it is that. Well, we survived the dyno. Oh, we didn't survive I the driveway. the engine also rocked back as it and maybe hit the hood too. When you backed off from the last week, you made a horrible noise. I reckon probably eight feet doors be It doesn't move. No, no it's locked. And all these bolts are tight. How the f what the f cool is that? It's gonna be like, yeah, 480 at the wheels. Luckily, Garrett's coming to the event. You just slap another turbo on it, but like, that's just so weird. But why would it just seize like that though? Is stucky boy. We'll take the line off and see that we're getting oil mm. for it. Mm. If there's no oil in it, yeah. For sure that'll do that. Maybe that wasn't an oil feed, maybe that's a water feed. <laughs> so we make a dyno and then we grenade the turbo at Maddock out the front of Golby's of all places. I mean, we have a wonderful support team here if we have to get onto a trailer. And uh, Sam was just saying that Garrett is going to be down at the event. But whether or not we can salvage something, who knows? Yeah. No idea. I mean, that's what the machine shop was supposed to do. Does Golby's have a G25 on the shelf? Yes, right? Yeah, they have a reverse rotation on the shelf. We've just lost the Garrett Turbo on the LZ World Tour 180 at the end of its dyno session as it left the dyno tuners. Um, what has happened, we have found out, is uh, the engine builder has not tapped into the block correctly um, and the oil feed that was tapped as an oil feed was not completely tapped. Uh, therefore, it starved the turbo of oil uh, and there was no oil feed for the Garrett and the Garrett has just done an entire day on the dyno with no oil, just water. Um, and that final, literally leave, <laughs> leaving Maddox Tuning. Unfortunately, it has uh, seized and it's not good. But Sam is working magic somewhere um, about an emergency uh, Garrett, I think it's 550, reverse flow. So, sorry, reverse rotation. Um, and I think Sam's on the phone to Garrett. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Crisis control. Saving the day again.
Never yeah. ate all day. I mean, you guys stuck around, entertained. Okay, perfect. Hey. Thank you so much, Paul. I'll give you an update. Oh, hang on. Was that a 660 or 550? 550, my guy. I mean, you want a 550 or something? So, throw this back on, back on the zone, and let's do another, do not make sure. Yeah, let's get next extra course. All right, see you, Paul. Thank you. You're amazing. Love you, bye. And now we just need to get, uh, hopefully, Golby's has a T piece that we can go off the pressure sensor and then run oil and a little bit of line. What? Oh, so we need this is insane. Thing. This is actually insane. <laughs> Uh, I gotta film it. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest fear is that there's when you go this, six, um, um, I need something to hold and support. Support the turbo. Support the turbo. Um, and then maybe loot. Do you want a hammer? Yeah. What do you need? Oh, you're good. Mm -hmm. Unless... Um, are we keeping the front housing? Uh, Sam, I need a big one. Sam, are we keeping the front housing? Yes. I'll actually be able to skip it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was four, I was a little worried. Skip! Alright, so we have tapped the oil pressure sensor uh, to get an oil feed line for the turbo. Oh, We're running the line straight to the top here. It gets black. Feed the turbo oil um, because the uh, feed that was supposed to be drilled in the block hasn't been fully drilled. <laughs> I'm out in front of automatic tuning after six hours on the dyno. And I'm having been tuned, coming out to put it onto the trailer. Golby's has massively come through, helped us out, as has Garrett, as has Matic Tuning. So, thank you very much, guys. And we are still going on the 200 SX. <laughs> Look at, we have an audience. These guys are like, got the life. We got beers and everything. Beers, what's it called? Casting couch? Yeah, this is the casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> that almost came up. Where's the Glen 20? Is this simple? <laughs> so I don't actually have my torch on. This is Lynn's. Very, very cool. Beautiful cars. Very cranky looking Beamer. If you want to check out more in this car, check out High Power Performance. Mm. Very cool shop. Oh yeah, there's a super up there too. For you uh, Mark IV fanboys. Let's do it! Yo! That was fucking loud. Oh my god, that beast is getting on the curve. Well, we fixed the uh, the dead turbo out the front of Golby's and Maddox tuning. We're heading back to the shed now to go load up for the trip down to Melbourne and then we are straight on the road with the 180 which you can see in Corey's vision mirror right there. I think you might be able to see it. Will it work? Will it work? Oh yeah, you can see it in his revision mirror. That's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm trying to film it but I'm moving too much. Sorry, no stabilizer. Oh yeah. Um, so we are heading and um, wait till this zooms out. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. 
if this is the end of this vlog, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.